Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial, where you will learn how to use the Gain Settings panel in Compass 5. Compass offers you a wide range of unique and detailed adjustment possibilities for fine-tuning Widex hearing aids. The most important fine-tuning tool is the industry standard Gain Settings panel. Before entering the fine-tuning stage in a fitting, you should have completed the in-situ measurement of the sensorgram and the feedback test. In a follow-up session, you will have loaded the settings of the previously fitted hearing aids. In this video, we will focus on the master program and apply actual adjustments of gain settings in the gain settings panel found in the fine-tuning window. For a presentation of the fine-tuning window layout, please watch the video how to fine-tune in Compass 5. The basic four bands of gain settings are split into three horizontal areas showing the insertion gain settings for soft, normal and loud sounds. The settings for soft sounds focus on audibility. Settings for normal sounds cover speech and intelligibility. And the settings for loud sounds focus on comfort. Let's take our starting point in a scenario in which Mrs. Hansen, an experienced hearing aid user, comes in for a follow-up session. At the first fitting session, the hearing aids were fitted with no further gain adjustments. Mrs. Hansen is in general very satisfied with her hearing aids, but finds that loud sounds are very metallic and hard sounding. You would therefore like to trim the gain settings in the high frequencies for loud sounds. First of all, we select the view of the target gain values derived from our sensorgram measurement at the first fitting. This will provide us with information on how the gain levels were initially set. We change the graphic view to output versus frequency and display the target view in the graphics as well. Now, for the actual gain adjustment, we will show the 15-band gain panel. Select bands from 2.5 kHz to 8 kHz by holding down the left mouse button and decrease the gain of these bands by 3 decibels for insertion gain loud. This decrease could also be applied individually for each of the bands if, for example, you wish to decrease the gain by different amounts. You can always undo or redo your adjustments by clicking the Undo or Redo buttons. Another case might be that of Mr. Arnold, who is a first-time hearing aid user. He comes in for a follow-up session, and from your lock, you know that Mr. Arnold's gain settings were initially adjusted using the acclimatization slider. Now he says that he likes the overall sound, but still finds it a bit hard to hear soft sounds and speech, and he is not comfortable with loud sounds. For illustration purposes, we will switch the graphic view to output versus input and scale it to a larger view. You agree to readjust the acclimatization slider to the next step. To alleviate Mr. Arnold's discomfort with loud sounds, you could either select all gain levels for insertion gain loud, or you could choose to change the overall gain for loud sounds by selecting one of the reduced audibility steps available in the loud sounds option. After listening to Mr. Arnold's description of his perception of loud sounds, you choose Reduced Audibility Step 2. Note how all the gain levels for Insertion Gain Loud are affected by this adjustment. To ensure better handling of sudden loud sounds, you might also consider turning on the True Sound Softener Plus from the Impulse Sound Modes menu in the Feature Settings.